Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another spell uh, spell video for you guys. Let me fix this a little bit better so you guys can see. Um, so this spell is particularly for those of you guys that are wanting some type of commitment. Uh, now this is not for those of you guys that have not even, uh, you know, you just started dealing with someone or you started dating. This is not particularly for you. There has to be some type of emotional connection here. Meaning, if you are currently, let's say, you've been dealing with the person for over a year, there is no quote-unquote uh, officialness to this relationship, then you can definitely do this spell. This is going to render you commitment. This is for those of you guys that have been wanting commitment or want to get into a committed relationship with this person. There has to be some type of connection, though. So again, like I said, if you just recently started dating and you're trying to get commitment from this person, this is not for you. Now, this could be done for those of you guys that, let's just say, you've had a friend with benefit situation and it's been going on for a while, then this could definitely bring you commitment. Why? Because there's already a link between you guys on a physical aspect. So... Again, if you've been dealing with the person, this is for those of you guys, even those of you guys that have been in a relationship for a while now, and the person just doesn't seem to want to commit to you, this is going to render you those results. This is for a commitment. This is for an engagement and or marriage. So again, very important to know the distinction between that. Now, as you guys can see here, we have a momentum of different types of herbs that we're going to be using these have already been consecrated and blessed for my clients work uh, this is the last step of a ritual that we've been working for my client and I'm going to take you guys step by step but as you guys can see we already have everything pretty much set to go um, so what you're going to need is you're going to be needing two red candles one uh, to represent you and the other to represent your partner now this can also you can also use um a couple's candle but i prefer to use the single ones only because once the wax is melted it completely submerges to one another versus getting the candle couples that are already together um so obviously the commitment the the wanting to get the commitment that energy will be in the physical aspect uh, uh symbolized here because obviously there is some type of resistance in the present. Uh, once this is melted, it will combine and come together, therefore giving you the commitment that you're wanting. So uh, that's the reason why I prefer to use two separate candles, okay? Now what you're going to do is you're going to use, uh, like I said, you're going to inscribe in one of the candles. Uh, your information would be your first name, last name, date of birth. And you're also going to be inscribing in the second candle your partner's information, their first name, last name, date of birth. Um, once that is done, you're going to put your intention towards it, blessing them. And you're going to light the candles at the bottom just so you can soften the wax. And you're going to then move forward into putting it in the plate or tray that you're working so that they could, the wax could... Uh, pretty much um, make the candle stand up without any problem of them falling down okay all right so once that is done i'm going to put this to the side and i'm going to take you guys with the ingredients what you're going to be needing is you're going to be needing like i said two red candles to represent both you and your partner you're also going to be using some five finger grass for blessing and protective type of energy we have that right here at the center now you're also going to be using uh cinnamon sticks now ideally uh, would be half of one stick we're on, we're gonna break it so it doesn't really matter you can use powder as well but I find that using dried herbs um, just amplifies the spell work and it makes you give quicker results or it makes it give you quicker results so uh, we're also going to be using some licorice root chopped which is what we have here we're gonna use rosemary now licorice, you guys know licorice is a sweetening type of um, uh, type of root, and we're definitely wanting to bring the sweetness into the relationship or into the mind of the person, your partner. Um, the rosemary is a loving herb, but it can also be used as protective shield. So it protects 
uh, the relationship or the integrity of the relationship, whether it be that there's people in your partner's ear or a lot of distractions, that type of energy, the, rom the rosemary is going to subside that and it's going to bring their focus or their energy back to you. Um, now we're also going to be using mistletoe leaves, obviously the love uh, that the mistletoe leaves brings as well as wish fulfillment, uh, something that empowers the spell. We're going to be using bay leaves. As you guys know, bay leaves are highly used for wish fulfillments. Um, it's a, a very protective herb as well. And we're also going to be using uh, a few um, red roses. Um, as you guys can see, I have already spread them out. We're going to be using this, again, like I said, into the spell work. Now, you can see some powders that I put there for uh, the roses. This is particularly to be able to render or to remove any blockages, I should say, any blockages that are currently keeping the partner away from my par uh, from my client. Uh, so it amplifies. It's, um, it's a mixture of uh, love powder as well as precipitation powder. So that's the reason why uh, you guys can see here the some of the buds have that powder. And we're also going to be using hibiscus um, flower. Now hibiscus is used highly for its sexual energy, for its desire and lust type of energy. Obviously, you're wanting um, to be able to fulfill, uh, even in a subconscious level, all the desires that your partner has and present yourself to them as the ideal partner or the ideal candidate uh, to, you know, for a commitment or a relationship. So that's the reason why we're going to be using uh, hibiscus. Now, I do want to put it out there for those of you guys that this could be done for same sex or this could be done um, not necessarily just heterosexuals, but you can use it if you're same sex as well. Uh, if you're a male, though, you would be using if it's a male for a male, you would be using thyme instead of hibiscus. Um, and if you're a woman, well, obviously, you're going to be using the hibiscus because I'm doing this for my client and she happens to be a female. That's the reason why I'm using the hibiscus, okay? All right, so aside from those herbs, what you're going to be using in regards to oils is you're going to need some type of love oil. I'm going to be using my uh, personal love oils um, that we have here that we create for ourselves. And you can find all these oils on my online store. Um, and we're also going to be using a binding oil. Now, I've already, like I said, I've already consecrated and prepared these candles. So if you can see here, we have a bi uh, love binding oil as well as um, uh, dove's blood, which is highly used for love spells um, as well as binding. So that's the reason why you see um, the blood and the oils down here. Um, so that's already set to go, but just letting you guys know you would need some type of love oil. It could be uh, any type of come to me oil. It could be follow me boy or follow me girl oil, binding oils that they sell, um, or rose oil as well as it does amplify that type of, uh, the love basically. Now, um, all right, my lovelies. So as I was saying, you're also going to be needing a white rose. Why white? Um, because it is symbolically uh, the color of marriage. It is the color of commitment. Um, and it, you know, on a grander scale, uh, usually when people get married, they have or integrate white roses. Um, so that's the reason why we're using white, uh, white rose. Uh, it's been enchanted and it has already been consecrated like the rest of these herbs. So we're pretty much ready to go. Now, my lovely. So finally, what we're going to be using is we're going to be using, um, you're going to be needing a, a Jezebel root. You would only use one, um, but you are going to need this. Now, any of the ingredients that we have on here, if you're not able to attain or if you're not able to get, then this spell is not for you. It is a little bit more elaborate only because of all the ingredients that it takes. But again, um, to be able to render you or to be able to see great results, you do need all of these ingredients. So just keep that in mind. Like I said, you're going to be needing a Jezebel root oil. Sorry, not oil. <laughs> a Jezebel root. And this is obviously highly used. Um, 
Now, if you're a man, you're going to be using John the Conqueror root instead of the Jezebel root. But because I'm doing this for a female client, that's the reason why we're using the Jezebel root. And Jezebel root, it is the same. Uh, it gives the same type of energy as that of John the Conqueror, except John the Conqueror obviously is a male energy and the Jezebel root is for females. Um, this gives you the upper hand in the situation. This gives you... Um, more it empowers you more it uh, has a uh, subduing type of energy towards the person or uh, the the partner um, that you're doing this work for so it's going to give you the upper hand and again like i said it has a domineering type of energy where anything that comes out of you basically they're going to be like uh, in a trance basically paying very close attention to what your wants and needs are now we're also going to be using a, you're going to be needing a shot glass, ideally a big shot glass, or a glass like this. Um, and the reason for that is because we're going to be also using some rum. Now you can use any type of rum, it doesn't matter. Keep in mind the better quality when we offer uh, or when we're working with any type of alcohol or liquor or anything like that, depending on the deities that you're working with, etc., the, the better the quality, the better the results. Why? Because this is an offering that we're doing, depending on who you're working with. Now, you can offer these uh, this work to, like I said, any deity or whoever it is that you work with. You guys already know that I personally work with my saint um and a specific spirits that are specifically to render me and my client results as quickly as possible so again i try to give them uh, the highest quality that i can find um of course if you don't have uh you know the opportunity to go out there and get you know good type of rum or whatnot it you can always witches always use what we have okay um, and this is true. So again, uh, I think it preferably for me anyways, I make sure not to give them such cheap quality only because um, that's how the connection I have with my saint. And it's quicker results that I get. So I'm just putting it out there and letting you guys know. Okay. All right. And finally, what we're going to be needing is you're going to be needing uh, two bands, uh, wedding rings, basically. Um Give me one second okay so we're going to be using two wedding bands here obviously because we're wanting commitment for my client and um symbolically uh throughout throughout history anytime we're working with any type of commitment spells or um, marriage spells uh the rings are a symbol uh, the circle of infinity it is a representation of love and commitment so that's the reason why we're going to be using uh the wedding bands okay all right so without further ado let's get right into the spell work so like i said we have everything ready to go and prepared it's been consecrated and blessed with the herbs in this situation what you would do is you can put all the herbs that you're going to be using in a plate Put your hands over them and say a prayer. As an example, I bless and consecrate in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And you're going to name each and every single herb that you're using. Why? Because it's not just about putting herbs or ingredients together. It's also putting the energy of telling them what it is exactly that you're using them for and what is it that you want them to do. So as an example, um, you can say, you know, licorice root, I... Uh, empower you and I strengthen your power for this spell work that is about to commence. I ask you to sweeten the relationship. I ask you to sweeten thoughts of him or of her when thinking of me. Rosemary, I call upon you and I ask you to empower and strengthen this spell work that is about to commence. I ask for your cleansing and protective properties so that you may protect me and my partner so that no one can step into the relationship or have any say um, and if they do have any say, may they fall, de uh, may they fall to death ears. And 
hibiscus i ask you to empower and strengthen this spell work bringing lust love passion and desire may i become his weakness or may i become her weakness when he's asleep or when she's asleep will she find me in her dreams and lust after me have desire and love above all five finger grass i ask you to loan your power your protective power your blessings may be fall upon this relationship and this spell work that is about to commence and so on and so on so you go around with all the herbs once you've blessed them then pretty much we're ready to go like i said with the candles you can inscribe your first name last name date of birth on one from the bottom going up um sorry no 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 <laughs> from the top going down now, the reason why we're doing from the top down is because we are, yes, we're sending this energy out, but we're also wanting to bring it back. We're wanting to bring back his commitment. We're wanting to pull, um, you know, his attachment or desire to be attached to us. Uh, so that's the reason why we're going to be writing our first name, last name, date of birth from the top all the way down so they can come to us. And in this one, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to write down his or her first name last name date of birth from the top going down and then on the other side you're going to write down on both you're going to inscribe get married get committed okay uh get married get committed that's what you're going to write on both candles so once that is done that's when you're going to be putting in or pouring in the love oils that you're going to be using uh like i said i'm using uh my personal love oils as well as some rose oil and some binding oil with the um, dove's blood so this is pretty much ready to go so what we're going to do now is we're going to start off with the bay leaves so we're going to go in a circular motion okay we're going to go all the way around very important you guys when doing this type of spell work to be grounded make sure that if you're feeling or have been feeling a bit sad a bit um, anxious then do not do work or spell work when you're feeling this way it's very important to ground yourself to really um, be anchored before doing any type of spell work it is important and crucial to keep very focused when doing spell work okay all right, so then once we've done the bay leaves, what we're going to do now is we're going to go around with the licorice root. And like I've told you guys, licorice root is very, very powerful and it is used, highly used, uh, for any love workings, really. Um, it not only sweetens the situation up, but it makes our partner more loving um, and have the desire or the commitment basically to uh, be more loving towards us okay all right then we're gonna do the rosemary we're gonna go all the way around okay with rosemary okay once we're done with that what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go in with the mistletoe leaves mistletoe leaves are very very powerful you guys especially for love workings really um it's always a good a good omen to have mistletoe leaves in the entrance of your home okay so once we're done with that, now we're going to go in with the five finger grass. Five finger grass is very powerful. And it brings blessings. Now, the reason why we're using five finger grass here is, uh, yes, it protects the relationship and it protects the partner from being uh from being um scattered or his mind being scattered but we're also using uh five finger grass because five finger grass is very powerful when using when using it for any type of abundance spell and the reason why 
you're asking why would you use an abundance uh, herb for love a lot of the times um the reason why most people don't have a tendency of committing especially like an example if you have a great connection with your partner and you just can't understand why they don't want to commit a lot of the times it could be because of financial issues um so the five finger grass it does bless and protect the relationship but it also brings blessings to the relationship so if they're having any type of difficulty or financial difficulty then that's the reason why we're using it because it's going to open pathways for your partner to be able to find new ways to make money therefore money would not be an issue okay all right so then we're going to go around with the rose petals the red rose petals All right, now we're gonna go in with the cinnamon. And like I said, um, you can break the cinnamon, the, the cinnamon sticks here. You can use powder as well, but I find that using all of these dry herbs actually gives a uh, quicker result. Um, but you can always use what you got, you guys. So don't really think about it too much. This smells so amazing, okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go around it with some, with some hibiscus flowers. Okay, and we're just gonna keep these. All right, so once this is done, let me bless it, give me one second in the name of the flower. In this flower that is about to commence for my client. All right, my lovelies. So once we are ready, what we're going to do now is we're going to set we're going to set the glass right here and we're going to go around with the uh, with the white rose petals like I said um, white has been notoriously used throughout centuries when we're talking about commitment, when we're talking about marriage, um, it definitely amplifies that energy. Okay. All right. Okay, my lovely. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fill up the glass with some rum i'm using some spiced rum not only because of the spices but because it has that uh spicy sweet uh, type of energy and flavor to it and that's exactly what we want okay all right so once we've done that what we're going to do now is we're going to be adding some of the hibiscus um, flowers now if you are a man doing this for uh, doing this for your partner then you would uh, be using um, thyme instead of hibiscus okay You can do a mixture of some thyme and one or two flowers of the hibiscus just to empower um, the passion and the desire, okay?
Okay. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to be adding a Jezebel root. Okay. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate this Jezebel root. So that it may be empowered, so that it may be strengthened for this spell work that is about to commence. May I give my client the upper hand. So that any word that she may speak may be sweet to his ears. So that he may feel her love deep down in his loins. And have the desire and the want to commit to her. Alright. Once you've charged it, you're going to put it in there. Okay. I forgot to mention, you guys, uh, you are going to be needing some honey. Now, we're going to introduce some honey into the... You don't need very much. It's just to sweeten the spell work, okay? All right, and finally, you're going to get the wedding bands. So what you can do is you can place both your hands on the wedding bands and you're going to charge them. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate these wedding bands. I empower them and strengthen them so that they may empower the spell work that is about to commence. May I be a symbol of infinite love, devotion, and commitment to one another. May I bring to them marriage, and may they be able to experience happiness. May my partner, or you would say uh, their name, first name, last name, date of birth, um, may he have or may she have the desire to commit to me and only me. May he or she have eyes only for me. Uh, and I in return, very important you guys, and I in return, uh, promise to devote myself and to give myself wholeheartedly to my partner, bless me. The reason why it's very important to make it very clear that you're also going to commit and that you are going to, um, that your intentions are true and genuine, basically. Uh, it's very important. Why? Because you are asking to receive, but you also have to be willing to give. So again, once you've charged them, then they go into the into the glass. There you go. All right, my lovely. So, is we're gonna light the candles now. The first night that you're doing this, what you're going to do is you're going to light it for thirty minutes. Now, within those thirty minutes, uh, right after the thirty minutes, you're going to snuff it. Make sure not to blow on your candles. Never, never, ever blow on your spell work. You're going to snuff them out, and the next day you're going to light them again, and you're going to leave it. You're going to let them burn for 15 minutes. Now, this in its uh, totality is four days that you're going to be uh, basically lighting the candles. Should the candles burn before that, then excellent. Uh, that's perfect, and it's a perfect um, and blessed omen that it represents that uh, the spirits are giving you or will be rendering you quick results. Now, it, uh, if after the six days, um, uh, sorry, after the fourth day, uh, they're, they're still not burnt out, then you're going to go up to six days. So every single day, you're going to burn it for 15 minutes. Once the 15 minutes are over, you're going to snuff them. Do not blow on them. Now, as an example... If you are, you know, if you're home and you're burning it while you're there, then ideally you light it and you pretty much let it burn out completely. Um, now, this is a six-day ritual. So what do I mean by that? If you, as an example, you're going to be around the candles when you're burning them uh, and you let them burn out completely that same day, that's okay. But you're not going to touch or move this tray or this plate whatsoever. You're going to let it still and you're going to leave it undisturbed for six days. Okay? Now, within those six days, you should start to notice your partner being more loving, more caring, more understanding, uh, even going out of their way to uh, 
you know, let you know that they care. As an example, if they're not the very thoughtful type, they could show up to your house and take you some Starbucks or things like that. Um, this is a, uh, these are just, you know, ways of you noticing that the spell work is working. Do not disturb this. Once, so as an example, if it goes for more than six days and you haven't seen results, you do not move this or disturb it. Um, you can go up to uh, 20 days with this in your altar or by your bedroom, but do not disturb it and do not toss out the liquor, okay? Very important. If after 20 days you have not gotten any results, you're going to have to undo everything, toss it out, and redo it again. Um, but ideally, this is a four-day uh, ritual, like I said. Um, a lot of the times, um, you know, sometimes we got to take it in steps only to empower it, uh, to give it more power and more strength. Um, so as an example, once I light these candles, I'm not going to burn them out. I mean, I'm not going to snuff them. I'm going to let them burn out completely. And I have these um, plates sitting in my altars uh, until my client gets results. So again, do not disturb it. Do not move it. Do not, you know, just don't mess with it, period. Periodically, you can stand by your altar and uh, say out loud, you know, I open my heart, my mind, and my body. I'm ready to accept the commitment um, so what you're doing there is you're basically conditioning yourself uh, and putting yourself in the energy of expectancy. So you should get very quick results, okay? All right, my lovely. So I'm going to light this. And like I said, I'm going to let it completely burn out for my client. All right, so this is um, basically we're ready to go. We're set. I hope you guys enjoy this. Definitely try it out. Um, once you guys get results, definitely come back and comment below. Let me know your experiences and how it went. I send you guys all my love, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.